What's going on guys, it's GamerX here and this is my day 8 coverage of the Steam Summer Sale. Uh, today has been pretty good, I have bought 3 games. And they've actually got a new background over in the corner with some fireworks which looks pretty cool. But anyway, for today's deals, there's not too much which I particularly wanted, but there's some good games. But anyway, let's crack on. Also, you've still got 10 hours and 53 minutes for yesterday's deals which roll over. So if you're watching this video late, you still have the chance to pick up yesterday's deals, which are discussed in day seven coverage. So for today's coverage, for number one, you've got Crado. Two, number two, you've actually got Witcher 2, which is an absolutely amazing game. It's the Witcher franchise, in fact. So you can actually get Witcher 2 and Witcher 1. Actually, I might pick up Witcher 1 for £1.74. So just leave us a comment if I should actually get the Witcher 1 for £1.74 because I don't know if I should get it. So I appreciate it if you, if anyone leaves us a comment about it. Anyway, let's move on. So you've got Witcher Collection. Um, you've got Alan Wake, which also comes with that um, American Nightmare. I actually considered getting it, but I decided not to. But you can get this pack for £7.74. So it's okay. Not a massive saving, but it's still good if you like them games. Moving on, Sniper V2, that were actually one of these flash deals, our community choice deals. 15 quid, it's, it depends, but I think it should be a lot cheaper than that, because it does look like a pretty good game. Amnesia's back up here, keep seeing loads of deals on that. Got Plants vs Zombies, if you haven't got Plants vs Zombies, where have you been? I've actually bought this twice, I've got it on my iPad and Vita. You've got Fallout New Vegas, this link won't work earlier, but... So you've got all this, you can get, huh, it's different this. So you can get Fallout New Vegas, £3.74, Game of Edition of Fallout 3, £3.73, then um, Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition for £7.50, then all separate DLCs for all individual games. I thought it was just like a big collection, that one. But, yes, you've got a Tanks Battle game. Didn't really look into this one time truth, but it comes with two games. We've got actually a space battle one, which is pretty interesting. Let's have a look at this. Uh, no, it looks weird, but if there's a lot particular, if you particularly like it, go ahead and purchase it. It's still on, it's got another 10 hours. So, Indie Bundle 8. Let's see what's today. Actually, today is absolutely a smashing deal. You've got Wings of Prey, it's a flight simulator game. It's actually a pretty good game. I played it on PS3. I rented it when it first came out. And it was a really good game. And it's only £2.50. So if you like your fly, fly combat games, go ahead and pick it up. Swords and Shot Soldiers. I looked into this. I thought, oh, it looks a bit strange. Then I looked further on it. It reminded me of uh, an old web game that I used to play ages ago. Where you like got two. You've got AIs on one side. And you've got your team at one side and you're just attacking each other. It's actually looks a pretty good game and it's currently £3.50. But you can get £1.99 or you can just get it in the bundle. Uh, we've got Soul Exodus, if you can say where right, Exodus or whatever. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. Oh yeah, I looked into it. It's in it like a space type shooter simulator thing. These type of space games are not particularly my thing, but if you like these type of games, go ahead and purchase it now. Well, it's in the Steam, well, Indie Pack, got Ord. Um, it's like a, it's a top down strategy action game. Um, it's a bit weird for my liking. But if you want to do some a lot more research on it, please do so. And Demolition Inc. This is actually a pretty interesting game. You're just blowing crap up. And that is just amazing. So that is it for the Indie Bundle 8. So that's covered it for today's deals. Not too much. Um, as I said, still got yesterday's deals on. There's no new pack deals. like, And there's still some flash deals. And if you're in time, you might be able to pick some of these still up. Anyway, current top sellers. You've got original Dragon Age. You've not picked that up. 
it's currently ten pound. I think it what it was on flash sale earlier on today for a lot cheaper though. So keep that in mind. Uh, Fable were actually up earlier on today for eight pound. I think it was or six pound something. I didn't actually look into it, so it might that might have been collection for that price. So I wish I did look into it now, but I've missed that. We've also got Sins of Sol new uh, Sins of Solar Empire. But yeah. Um, Grand Theft Auto Pack, which is still in here at ten pounds, which I got the other day. Just cause two, which are actually in these flash deals the over there, three pound fifty, and I kind of regret not picking up, but it'll probably come up in one of them today's deal sections. Cause usually every game which has been here has been in either Community Choice or today's deals, so it'll probably come up again. And Elder Scrolls is up here. So moving on, under seven pound, we got Starker Collection. Sim City 4, that were actually a chosen choice. Grand Theft Auto's Mass Effect, which has come into it. That's looked to get Mass Effect 2, but it's 8 quid. Under 4 pounds, that's a, that's a really good deal. You get Solar, Sons of Solar Empire Trinity for £3.24. So if you've not played these type of games, it's a, it's a 4x game, I believe it is. It's a really good game, I've actually got this version but not Trinity so if you don't want to spend £18 on later one go back and get this one for £3.24 there's not mega difference between Rebellion and Trinity but let's move on top rated same as usual they just don't seem to be changing the new releases they are the same once again so what have I bought today? well I've bought three games One's a flash sale. It's currently on now. It's one. Of, it's one of these. And other two are what? One's from a wish list and ones which I just came across. But yes, I got I Divine Cyberman Mancy or whatever. It's a dodgy name. Did like some research into it. So I got this game for one pound twenty-four. I actually did a bit of research on YouTube, and I decided to actually pick it up. My well, it's on offer because it actually looks like a pretty good game for what for cost so now moving on the next game I actually got it's a top down like space shooter and it's called Stellar Impact I've actually had it in my wish list for quite a while and I've decided to actually pick it up it was £1.74 uh, because I don't think it'll come up now in uh, community choice or deals and so forth so the next game I decided to get is called Hydrophobia Prophecy it cost me £1 um, and it should Played demo on PS3 and I really liked it. I wanted to get it up at time, but I never did. So I picked it up for one pound off a Steam sale. So that's what I've currently got today. There's not been too much uh, deals, but yes, that is what I've got. So now what you've been waiting for? Game Rex's deal of the day. So um, pretty tough. Well, it's not pretty tough because it's. There's not, can't really say there's not many crazy deals. But telling you the truth, I think my deal of the day has got a bit indie muddle 8. And that seems to be the best deal so far with all the games you get in. Some really good quality games. And that's actually been my favourite indie bundle so far in sale. Because it's got a ton of games which I'm pretty interested in. But if you're not bothered about that, my runner up probably would have to be Alan Wake. Because that is a. Them two games are good and it's a real good saving. But yes, that's my deal of the day in the bundle 8. And I hope to see you all back here for day 9 coverage of the Steam Summer Sale, which is sadly ending very shortly. But anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.